All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC career. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded. They have every skill. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters. Huh? Whoa! He's dropped. Gets up again here, but Burton. Oh! What a fast. Whoa! He's out! He got him! Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, our UFC middleweight champion of the world. What an outstanding knockout here to finish the job tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still So the soldier of God, Yoel Romero, emerges victorious here tonight. Just a next-level athlete. And even when the opponent seems to know what's coming, more often than not, they just can't stop it. So congratulations to Romero and the rest of the crew at American Top Team. The hood's still dangerous, goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie brothers.